Well, it's a daughter of Erupt named Vian Queen. Well done to breeder Ken Tuta. Congratulations to you and Miss Tunisia Pele, represented by her dad and her mum here and the family. Nice to have Manny and Verna on course make the trip from Durban. And it is Atantiwem Kudla teaming up with Garrett van Zale. And Garrett doing a lot of traveling these days, and today he's here at Hollywood Bed, Scottsville. Atantiwem, before I even touch on this victory, I was just paying compliments to you with Paul Lafferty and how you've just matured as a rider. I know that you've ridden in big races and feature races, etc., and this is only a maiden plate, but there were tactics around you. Richard Furee went to the front, Muzi went forward, you from the box seat, draw one, you found yourself sitting in fourth. But the maturity that you showed that you didn't panic on a, on a strongly fancied horse, I must compliment you on that. Thank you so much, Dees. Yeah, you know, the past couple of months, I've had some really great people around me, helping me, growing my confidence. And uh, I think now I'm understanding a lot more about what riding actually is. You know, I think the past couple of years, you're just riding and you get lucky there and there. But now at the moment, I'm understanding what it's about. And I knew I was the horse to beat. And I think today she could have came from last. Um, if she wasn't good enough today, I just looked at it that way, you know. She was in a comfortable sport and she was always going to quicken up and uh, she's won nicely. It showed the confidence that you had with your horse because obviously the opposition was there. There was not much on form. You had the best form coming to the race, but you believed in her ability. I did, you know. I think what helps a lot as well is the fact that you walk the horses in the morning. And uh, in her case, I have been working at back at home and I know how much she had come on from her, her last run. I think her last run she got beat because she was green. I hit the front a bit too early with her and uh, she started looking for company. So today I had a lot of faith in her and I knew she was gonna, she was gonna, always gonna be the one to beat. You bring up a very salient point. I'm just gonna add a word to that. You said maybe we we're just riding. Now you are race riding. If you just put that word in front of riding, race riding is far different, isn't it? Absolutely. You know. You realize every time, um, you know when you've made a mistake. But, you know, in my case as well, like I've said, I've had some really great people behind me. You know, Gareth, for starters, you know, he's really been great, you know, the confidence you put me on his horses, and that really helps a person as well. And I just had to put in my, my bits as well, and uh, it's going well, so I'm blessed and grateful to be standing here. Well, you made many punters that banked you in the first leg of the pick six happy. Where can we follow you later on? Um, obviously, she was my best ride, this. Um, it's very competitive going forward, but uh, I've got some chances, so hopefully I can be back here again. Nice ride. Thank you very much. Once again, a big thank you to the Fanzel team, to Gareth, to Mr. Fanzel, Megan, Terry, everyone behind the scenes, and uh, you are to many Pile and his family, and to Sporting Post. Thank you. Well played. Thanks. Gareth is in town, based in Cape Town now, and his team here, headed by his dad, are doing a sterling job for you, Gareth, you know, while she's shuttling to and fro, because the results are there to see. Yes, thank you for touching on that, Deeds. This, uh, this victory uh, is evidence of that. A big well done to Terry Megan and the team, and of course my dad. Um, he's been in Cape Town for a few days as well, so wonderful to be able to come and lead the horse in with um, Manny and Verna, I must say a big well done to them. Manny picked this horse off um, Andrew and Ashley Fortune's uh, dispersal sale and they've been patient with her and um, she's only just got better with time and with racing as we can see. As you said, it wasn't uh, the strongest of all fields but the way that she did it shows that she's improving, learning what's about. She enjoyed the 1600. So there's a lot of positives that come out of it. And I say a big well done to Dr. Mikshe um, and unfortunately um, Vihan and um, Lyle and Trini and Nihal couldn't be here, but they at home, as you would know, um, shouting, shouting at home. So a lovely win for the for the family and wonderful for um, yeah for for Manny to be on course um, and to, to lead her in with Auntie Verna and, and Nikki, of course. As you grow your business, you know you need uh, people that are part of your team. You touched on a few of them. You would have had a choice of many many jockeys to choose from, and you stuck with Atandiwe. And as I always mention to you off air, with him. It's work in progress. You're building a relationship, you're building a partnership, which seems to be gradually getting to a point where you want it to be. Yeah, absolutely, Dees, and um, we can't do it without the support of the owners. Ultimately, I represent them, and at times it can be difficult to please everyone, um, and, and you can't ultimately, but um, yeah, we've come a long way, and um, you know, when you weigh everything up, um, I, I think our, our partnership has done us good, and um, going forward, uh, we can only hope that we continue to enjoy success together.
Anything else from your side? Well then, to Ken Trutter, the breeder of this filly, and um, to our stable sponsors, Hollywood Bets, a big well done and thank you. Any more runners? We've got one in the next, hoping that he earns a check. All the best. Cheers. Manny and Verna are in town. We often hear their names being mentioned, but Manny is uh, a man of leisure these days. He spends his time wisely. That's the way I'd like to put it. Uh, you're more relaxed these days, Manny, with your grandkids and that type of thing. So whenever you can make it to the races, you do so. So it was worth the drive down today. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm more, more semi-retired now. Yes, yes. So we're just taking each day at a time. But first of all, uh, well done to Vian and his queen, Savara. Yes. So we, uh, Vian named his horse here, uh, uh, Vian's queen, uh, on behalf of his queen, Savara. Okay, so it's called Vian's queen. Yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and your time with your grandkids and including their names as part of your whole enjoyment oh, yeah. of this, you, you love it, don't you? That, that, that just makes it more fun. That makes it more fun. As, uh, let me thank Garrett, uh, uh, Terry, uh, Gavin, Megan, and his entire team for doing such good work. Uh, it's been, uh, I've been, I've been off uh, December, January due to health reasons. Yes. And I just want at the same time now, thank all my family, my friends for praying for me. And yet I am. And what about the lady that pays all the bills to in the, for you to she, indulge in your hobby? She, she plays for me. Verna, and pays for me. well done. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, many um, we really went through a bad patch and I think this is going to really pick him up. Yeah, and you've had a winner the other day as well. You've got a really nice filly in Joburg. Yeah. yeah. Beating wings. Yeah, beating wings. But I'll leave that to Mr. Dylan Chinsami to control it that side. So we'll see from there. Well, nice catching yeah. up, Manny, to yourself uh, and Verna. Nice meeting. Just, just well done to Lyle, my racing manager. Yes. My daughter, uh, Tanisha Pillay, yes. who, uh, who the horse is near a race under, and to Vihan and Nihal. Well done. Well done to the Pillay family. Yep, yeah, it is the odds-on favorite that opens up the pick six, and it is Vian's queen, horse number one.